Good morning, ESM. I'm Owen. And I'm Kai. Today, moving forward, all of our script will be written entirely by predictive text. Sorry in advance. Chef Gordon Ramsay has a clip go viral from his new show, Next Level, with Chef in which he asks contestants Trika what she does for a living. Trika replies, I stream my cooking on Twitch Chef, in which Chef Gordon replies, what is Twitch? This unscripted take from the show was posted by Trika on her Twitter page and went completely viral. There is some irony in this incident, though, as many streamers such as XQC and Hands by Abby often stream themselves reacting to Chef Gordon's shows to tens of thousands of viewers, effectively integrating Gordon as a part of this Twitch culture after this viral clip went up. Twitch and Gordon have hinted as a possible Gordon Ramsay stream account, but we will have to see what comes of that. Serbian tennis star Novak Djokovic appeal against his visa cancellation in Australia has been adjourned until Monday, leaving his chances of defending his Australian Open title in question. After he was blocked from entering the country, he will now have to remain in a quarantine hotel and immigration detention as he awaits a decision. Djokovic, the world's top-ranked male player, was barred from, by Australia authorities from entering the country before ordering him to leave early. Thursday morning, the Australian Border Force confirmed it has cancelled his visa after he had failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet the entry requirements of the country. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Football players in grades 9 through 11, winter skill workouts begin on Monday, January 10th from 7 to 9 p.m. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. Uh, something better is proud to present Find Your Ally, Tell Your Story, an afternoon of creativity and expression and storytelling with an old friend and new. Join us after school on Tuesday, January 11th in B43 to sculpt Play-Doh, uh, finger paint, uh, share stories, poetry, and enjoy a chill environment with people you can trust. Seniors, in order to ensure that your senior picture and quote is correct for the yearbook, you must stop by yearbook room D14, look at your picture, name, spelling, and quote, and sign off that it is correct. This must be done by the end of school on Monday, January 10th. After this date, the pages will have been submitted for publication and cannot be changed. If you have any questions, see Ms. W see Ms. Welch, Ms. Baker, or Mr. Stalin. Hello, ESM. Thank goodness I is coming to see us tonight, for sure, and I don't have a problem at the moment, or is that a possibility? Uh, oh, I see. Just a reminder for class today, and I will do it all night at school, and I will do it. Uh, today's weather sucks, bro. I, I don't have anything to say about this. Continue. Today will be cloudy with a high of 31 degrees and a low of 25. There is also a 72% chance of snow. Tomorrow will be cloudy and snowy again with a high of 28 and a low of 14 degrees. On Saturday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 28 degrees and a low of 22 degrees. A uh, predictive text message is still available for you at all times, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter. Yeah, predictive text now, and I just text back and say hi and see what happens with you all day after you leave. Uh, sports cars show up on a car at a bus station. Frontier uh, is in a parking spot. Parking spot? Yeah. Robert Holloway and Jacob Pacheco were chosen as lifters of the month in the ESM weightlifting room. Robert is a junior football player. Jake is a junior basketball player, baseball player. Both have made outstanding gains in recent months due to their consistent attendance and hard work. The wrestling team lost to Syracuse City last night, 24 to 36. Junior Max Wunderlich pulled a big upset as he pinned Syracuse City's Sean Hunt, who is ranked second in the section. Damian Murray also won his meet match for the Spartans 5-10. The Syracuse men's basketball team lost to 
Miami yesterday, 88 to 87. Joe Gerard had 26 points on the night. Today's girls volleyball team had a game, has a game against Camden at 7:30. And I'm Leah with your sports. Thank you for bearing with us. This was really dumb and not funny. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but for me, Kai, and everyone here at the morning show, I'm in. Give me up a little too corny to write a text to me. Bye. Bye.